it's Brianna. Today's video, we are going shopping for my kids' Easter baskets, and I'll do an Easter basket haul at the end so that you can get ideas for your kids' Easter baskets for 2024. Okay, they have lots of characters in their Easter section. So, Bluey, Minecraft, Spider-Man, there's a lot of Star Wars, Paw Patrol, Frozen, Lilo and Stitch, lots of stuffed animals. Yeah, this little ice cream bubbles. Okay, this is cute for baby's first Easter. They have little lovies and like rattles and a bunch of stuffed animals. There's even like Easter blankets. It looks like Coley. Tons of Easter basket filler. Lots of Easter eggs if you're doing an Easter egg hunt. Tons of wooden baskets. I actually really like those. The blue and pink, those are cute. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, this section is so cute. I want these little mini bunnies now. And I love the bunny artwork. I love that he's risen sign. This whole section, I love the colors. These baskets are so great. I love these green bunnies. Look, they have them in the white that I have and a light pink. Look how cute that pillow is too. Okay, these plates are so adorable. I love these gold ones with like the florals too. They're very chic, classy looking. All the different chocolates to get them a couple treats. There's an entire Peeps section like peeps play-doh tons of baskets peeps outfits chilling with my peeps peeps cups soap tons of different kinds of candy the ogs All right, did some damage at Walmart. Ran out of the car, pouring down rain. So, of course I didn't bring a jacket. When I left the house, it was almost 70 degrees and super sunny and was so nice. So now I'm like, maybe I need to go home and grab a jacket if I'm gonna go do a bunch of returns because I have returns I was trying to make today too and I wanted to go to Target. I got this picture in my closet. Cute little bunnies. Oh my gosh, I love that wreath. That's so cute. This little carrot bin. Aww. This one, it's pretty too, but I like the carrots the best. <laughs> and this little farm fresh carrot. And there's little Peeps sidewalk chalk. They have it in the blue color too. It's so cute. This isn't Easter, but I love this. I'm gonna get it for Hayden's room because I need to decorate his shelves. Okay, how cute is this little bag? Like, I need that. Okay, all this butterfly jewelry. Oh, I love those. Okay, this is so cute. These little placemats. And I love this little paper shred with the flowers. The bunny bags are so cute too. And then look at, they have the pink plates and I love the mint colored plates too. And then these different colored napkins. Like that's so cute if you're doing an Easter tablescape. Okay, I wanted to get some type of greenery for Hayden's room. <laughs> this is random. Who just left their strawberries sitting here? <laughs> How cute are these? The little snail. Those little wood bunnies are so cute. And these are cute too. So springy, fun. That little bunny is so cute. Okay, here's some of the treats Target has. They have the cotton candies, but look how cute those little Rice Krispies are. Okay, they even have a Peeps pancake skillet. That is so cute. There are tons of basket options here. All right, back home, I'm going to do a haul of everything for the Easter baskets, but also some really cute stuff that I ended up picking up at the stores. 
So let's just dive right into it. I'm definitely in my rattan era <laughs> over here. This was Target dollar spot. I just love this for Hayden's room. I'm trying to style his shelves in there. So I also picked up just those greenery pieces. This purse, I had to have it. Like we're going to Hawaii this summer. I'm probably gonna use it every single day there when we go out, it's just adorable. Then they had these rattan carrots at Walmart. I got the bunny and the carrot plates and this pillow from Walmart. And then these are all from Target. So this little butterfly, the snail, and then this little birdie. So cute. And I love this. I'm gonna see if it works on my three-tiered stand. I thought that was really adorable. And this carrot box from the dollar spot too. I was actually, like, oh, I'll just, well, they said that there. I couldn't find though. I looked for a sign. I didn't find a good sign for there yet. So I'm still on the hunt for that. And also then this little mini pink bunny. I was thinking that might go in the basket, but I was looking for a pillow, but this might actually work there. We'll try that in a second. All right, this pillow I thought could look really cute there. What do we think? Okay, I was thinking, no, I just, it's not. It's not doing it. Maybe there. I mean, it still looks cute, right? Okay, and then I know the tags are still on, but I always just like to set everything up and make sure I truly like it before I take the tags off. But this was my thought of where to put these. Do we like that? Keep or return? Okay, I kind of moved the tag on that one so you can see them a little bit better. <laughs> okay, who was up there? Hi! You're like Scar. Run away and never return. Hi, silly girl. Are you okay? Did you just joke? Cody. You all right? You all right, good girl? So side note, Coley has been like wandering really badly lately. Cause I think as she gets older, she's just kind of like, I don't know, losing it. <laughs> so I was talking to Nayra today cause he was even saying, he's like, yeah, I've noticed like she's like been coming into my backyard a lot more. I mean, he's right next door, but it's never been a thing for her. Like she has always just stayed in the yard. I've never had to worry about it and then Lately, she's been kind of wandering, so probably just have to make sure I'm always out there keeping an eye on her at this point. We're gonna try, I don't know. How do we feel about that? Does that look stupid? I don't know. Or that's another option. Still feel like some, there's some kind of pillow or something needed for that basket. Okay, here are those shelves I was talking about. Unfortunately, this is just too big, but tell me, do we like at least those little, you know, pops of some greenery up there? It's better than it was, but I feel like I still want maybe something else Disney up there. So I just took his changing pad off because we really don't use that anymore. And I put that there. I don't know, I feel like I just kind of keep slowly updating his room. <laughs> I just set out those pictures on there with that and I feel like it does sort of balance everything out a little bit better too. Okay, and while I was out, I picked up the kids' Easter outfits as well, just kind of all things Easter going on today. This is Hayden's from Walmart. Is this not the cutest little set? Like the bunnies on the sweater, I cannot. So got his, and then I saw this one, and I just know Presley, like she is such a fan of the Barbie movie. She loves Barbie. She's been like in a little Barbie, I feel like year. <laughs> this just reminded me of the dress she wears though in Barbie with that pink gingham print. And it also reminds me when I was a little girl, my very first bedding, I had a pink gingham bedspread. So when I got a little bit older, it was Princess Jasmine on my bedspread, but my first one was pink gingham. I'll always remember that blanket, but I love it. It came with a little bow. 
to match it too. And I already have white shoes for her. I might try to get her like a little pair of white gloves. I think she's had a pair, but I think she played with them like up and dirty. So I probably need to get a fresh clean pair for Easter. She's in this age where when all the girls come over, they just do fashion shows the whole night long. So like this past weekend, I kid you not, I couldn't see her floor. They had taken so many clothes and accessories and everything out of the closet. And then they're doing makeup and kind of wash like a bunch of the clothes that they barely even wore just because makeup was all over them. Um, and if you saw my Instagram stories, there was glitter everywhere too. I, they were using actual glue, I think, to put the glitter on because then when I got to my countertop, I couldn't even get the glitter off with just like really hot water and like scrubbing it. I had to, with my fingernails, like scrape every single piece of glitter off. Anyways, um, <laughs> this is Landon's. They had it on this on like a mannequin. I thought it looked really nice where the collared shirt was under this one. And this is a really soft material. He's my kid where if something doesn't feel right to him, he will not wear it. Even if I'm like begging him now, it's like, please, this is the Christmas outfit or this is the Thanksgiving outfit or this is what we're in family photo shoot. He like needs things to feel a certain way. And I sort of realized the fabrics that I know are like go to on him. So this is a really cool, let's see what it's actually made out of if it says. Um, probably I'm gonna tag inside here. Polyester spandex. I think it's just because it's softer. Like it feels really smooth and cool and soft. So this one for Landon and then these bottoms, even though they look also again like dress pants, they're made of sort of like a stretchier material. The brand on these are this comfort stretch. What's the brand? Class Club. Um, these were from Dillard's. So I know he will wear these. <laughs> without complaining like he will about other types of dress clothes. So I still have to figure out my Easter outfit though. I'm gonna check my closet first because I feel like I might have something that can work with all of this. But at least that's done. By the way, I know my tulips are really sad and pathetic looking and I should have gotten fresh ones while I was out today and just totally forgot. So next video, I'm gonna have to go get some that's I'm actually planning I think on filming a lot this week because I'm aching to get my car cleaned out. It's trashed, like it's horrible. And the weather has finally gotten a little bit nicer, so I feel like it's a good time to be outside and do it where I won't be absolutely freezing cold and in the snow cleaning out my car. So I want to do that. Then there's just a lot of things. I'm thinking probably the get it all done will sort of incorporate a lot of the things that I just need to start doing and tackling around here. And then I really want to dive into some deeper spring cleaning too. So a lot of decluttering. I know there's a lot of things I'm itching to get done, but Glad I got the Easter baskets and Easter things out of the way today. This is all you guys who requested this. So if there is things that you really want me to show in a video or talk about in a video, let me know down in the comments. And then as I'm filming over the next few days, I will try to weave those things in for you. But I'm gonna start with Landon's Easter basket. So these are the same Easter baskets. I have used this, I think since he was born, I got this basket from Pottery Barn and the little liner with his name on the ear so I feel like you know it's expensive but a very worthwhile investment to be able to reuse it every single year um I got it's just funny they had candy scented like silicone oh it does it kind of smells like laffy taffy <laughs> so okay I'm gonna kind of fluff it out in here just as a little base for his stuff but one of the things, I think if you go back and watch all my other Easter basket hauls that I, I think almost every single year I've done is I'll get bathing suits for their Easter basket. And it's especially pertinent because I think three days after Easter, we leave to go on a cruise. So you will need their swimsuits and we go to Hawaii. Sorry, my battery died. I think I was saying we're going to Hawaii this summer. So I know that, you know, these bathing suits will for sure be put to good use. So. Like, I think I folded it before I showed it to you. The blue top and I thought it kind of went nicely with the palm trees. Grab this at Target. Also, they have the little matching then blue flip flops. So blue is Landon's favorite color. So I tend to always gravitate towards blue if it's an option for something for him. I grab that for him. But okay, fold this up. I'm gonna kind of just make the baskets as we do this haul here. I got Pringles for him. It's his favorite after school snack or when we're doing a grocery shop. because so I was like, mom, can we get Pringles? So they have the little bunny ear Pringles. So got him those. 
Um, I really tried to not get a ton of sweets. I know for some people, you're probably going to be like, oh, that's a lot of candy. But I think sometimes I've gone really overboard with the candy and it honestly just never gets eaten. So I just try to do the things that I know they really are into right now. So he loves warheads. Like he loves warheads. So they had these bunny, it says chewy warheads. So got those for him. I did get the Yum Earth jelly beans because he does really like jelly beans too. Put those in there. I got him a little milk chocolate Ghirardelli bunny. I think that's so cute. Some blue, this isn't edible, but it's like blue peeps Play-Doh. And he loves Minecraft, so I got a little Minecraft egg. It's some kind of thing he builds. And I got him some Minecraft Legos. I'll actually stuff those kind of behind there. And I got goggles that he can use. The house we're staying in in Hawaii does have a pool, so I know he will definitely want to use the goggles for in the pool. I got a little Hershey's bunny. The other kids you'll see, I got the carrot looking ones that are Reese's Pieces, but um, we took him to an allergy specialist actually. This was right when him and I got back from our ski trip that we went on to Vail. And that next morning he went in for his allergy appointment and I'm so happy for him because if you guys have been here for a while, you probably remember it was right around Easter. We were like in the ER. He was having really bad allergic reactions, all food related. And we basically had to eliminate everything from his diet and then the allergy specialist had to slowly reintroduce things back in. But the things that we still shied away from that he still seemed to be showing a sensitivity to was citrus fruits, which since this test, they're like, he's not allergic to this anymore. He's been eating them. He's been fine. Um, we shied away from eggs, which the allergy test, it came back and it was like, eggs should be fine. So he was really excited. He did get to eat eggs and stoked about that. And then the nuts was the only one. All the tree nuts they tested him for showed that he's not allergic, but it did just show a mild, she like, it's very borderline peanut allergy. So she wants to do a in like the doctor's office, three hour long introduction of peanut butter where they give it to in certain increments and just monitor him the whole time and make sure he's fine. And then he might even be able to have peanuts and like peanut butter again, which he's so happy because he actually, when he was little before all this, he would just eat spoonfuls of peanut butter. Like he loved peanut butter. <laughs> so I swear I was like, did you have too much? And like, that's why you had an allergic reaction to it? Or I don't know, but exciting news for him. Um, what was my point of all of this though with the stuff? Oh, I still just didn't get him any candy with peanuts in it just to be on the safe side. Um, but my other kids can have it and they've always been fine. And then there's these really cute little marshmallow suckers that I got for that. And one of our favorite things to do, it's just like our little tradition is certain mornings we go and get donuts. My kids, they're just all obsessed with donuts. And Krispy Kremes are Landon's favorite kind of donuts. So I got him a Krispy Kreme gift card for his Easter basket. So shove it in there. Um, but so yes, so this is, oh, <laughs> these are hiding from me. I was like, I feel like I got a little something else. He loves Sour Patch. I think all the sour candy right now for him is like where it's at, like the Warheads and the Sour Patch. And I thought this was cute. It's little Peeps candy. I just kind of like that. Just in here. That is Landon's Easter basket for 2024. I'm forgetting something else I got for him. Hold on. I knew there was something. I'm like, there's something bigger you got for him. So I don't know if this is true. You guys can tell me the up and up. But I've heard like Nike Dunks. Like you have to have Nike Dunks. So, you know, I just <laughs> go with what they tell me. So he got his first pair of Nike Dunks. So these are going in his Easter basket too. There we go. That is officially what's in Landon's Easter basket for this year. All right, for Presley's Easter basket, she's getting the pink grass. It smells the same as the other one though. No difference in the smell. Okay, we'll just fluff this grass out too. Now Presley, I'm not gonna lie, she is my easiest one to shop for. I go to a store and I immediately see things that I just know. Presley is going to like this. This is Presley's style. She's very girly. She loves pink. She loves sparkle. So, I mean, it just makes it very easy. So, I picked up some stuff for her that I just feel like she will love. 
She loves wearing headbands to school, so got that cute little pink glitter headband. Then there's these different colored scrunchies. I just thought, oh, this is so cute for spring into summer colors. You know, she loves like wearing those on her wrist or putting them up in her hair. So got those for her. Her bathing suit, this one I found at Walmart. Um, I think it was by Justice, but she just, you know, anything that's kind of like rainbow, tie-dye, <laughs> unicorn, mermaids, that's, that's just all Presley's vibes. So got her this swimsuit, which again, I know she will love for spring in Hawaii. Um, and on the cruise and this little then cover up for it, it's really soft. It's like a little pink terry cloth cover up top there and then I thought these are so cute these little sunglasses to go with the swimsuit then like I know she'll just love the glitter on them then these mermaid tail goggles these were from Kohl's so pick those up from there this earring set she's always just wanting new seasonal earrings are her thing so they had these at Walmart, even when I say Claire's, there's a whole section that's like Justice Claire's at Walmart, so I picked these up because they have little, I thought the cherries were super cute, and they have little strawberries, and there's Kitty, I know she'll want like the Kitty ones, the butterflies, basically I looked at this and I'm like, Presley will want all these earrings, so it made it very easy, again, to shop for her. These little butterfly gem claw clips, I thought they were just adorable, snag those for her. And then these, I, I actually didn't plan on getting her these, but I saw them and I'm just like, there's nothing that is more Presley than these. And I know she will wear them all summer. Again, when we're in Hawaii for a month, going to the beach and I just, you know, they're so easy to throw on. I, I was actually, I wanted to get more pair for Hay because especially with potty training and now that he is going to preschool, I feel like it's so much easier on the teachers when they have Crocs. They didn't have any in his size and the colors that I really wanted though. So I think I'm going to order his online. But these, I was like, I just, I need to get these for Presley. There's not anything I've ever seen more that I'm like, those are just screaming Presley. Um, I should say it's giving Presley, right? <laughs> um, these little milk chocolate tulips. I know she will like those. They're so cute. I got her a little chicky marshmallow. And then same thing, little chick Reese's tube. You know, she will love that. And the Reese's Pieces carrot that I was saying I got landed in the like milk chocolate little white bunny one. So she gets that one. This I thought was adorable. Dollar at Walmart. It looks like an ice cream cone, but it's bubbles. I just I thought that was so cute. And I got her the Yum Earth. They're the giggles. They say they're chewy candy bites. I don't know if my kids have ever had these, but I got, you'll see for Hayden's, there was like little gummy bunnies and I feel like he will, he loves fruit snacks. So I feel like he'll want the gummy bunnies. But these I thought probably will still enjoy in the pink, they're in the pink wrapper. So she's getting the pink one. <laughs> um, she has also been begging me because last year, I feel like it melted or something happened. She had a chocolate bunny. She didn't get to eat it because something happened to it. And she's like, mom, do you think I'll get another chocolate bunny this year? So I got her the cookies and cream one. I feel like she'll really, like that flavor she loves like all the oreo oreo um ice cream cookies too those are so good by the way she also <laughs> this is very funny it's like when did you have pepsi presley she's like gg and papa's house because it's true like when i was a kid i was just allowed to drink as much pepsi as i wanted i probably had at least three cans a day so i think maybe it just like has never gotten out of my system and that's why i have all the energy that i have <laughs> Um, but she was like, oh, I love Pepsi. I like tried it at Gigi's. And so this is a little Pepsi lip gloss. So I know she's just going to think it's the coolest thing in the world. And she's so easy to shop for. I, just, I know all the things that she'll love. I gave her the pink peep Play-Doh, some pink cotton candy. And then she's my Dunkin' girl. She, if she gets to pick where we go for donuts, she likes Dunkin'. So I got her a Dunkin' gift card. Kind of tuck it in over here. So this is Presley Jane's Easter basket for 2024. All right, time to do Hayden's. For Hayden's, I got the green grass. Still smells the same. Okay, we'll just fluff this. And his basket is also from Pottery Barn. But the only thing about this one, because I obviously got his years later after getting the older twos, 
I don't like they change the style of the basket. So you see how this flops? So I plugged in my hot glue gun and I'm gonna see if I can just glue this so it stays up because I would just prefer it to stay up. I don't like that it flops. So we're gonna see if I can, I think it will work. I think it's already pretty good. Let's do this kind then too. Cause I just don't like it. I hate, oh no, don't fall. Stay. Hopefully that works. Silver hay, hey, I feel like I hit the jackpot with some stuff when I was out shopping today. I know I said Prezi is my easiest to shop for, but I was able to find some really great stuff that I know would just like scream hate into. So first thing I got for him are these big jumbo chalk crayons. I know the other kids are going to love doing this too, but I feel like he's just gonna have especially fun with it this year because he's starting to like really enjoy coloring and all those things. But this book, we read almost every night he will pick out from all the books in his room it's called good night good night construction site it's a very cute book it rhymes if your boys are into any kind of like construction dump trucks like that was one of his favorite christmas presents that he got because he would play with one all last summer at the yacht club playground they had them there and he just always loved those so he likes all the construction site what, what do we call them they're not cars or trucks they're all the stuff at a construction site. He's into all those, mach the machinery, the heavy machinery is what he's into. So this one is the Spring Delight version. I'm just like, okay, it's cute. And it has the pop-ups, like you fold you know, things up and he loves books with the pop-up flaps like that too. So I was like, okay, mommy found something that hey is really gonna like, I'm so excited. He also loves goldfish. So the little Easter design goldfish for him to snack on. I got him the chocolate carrots because I just thought they were so cute. And I mentioned this, but he loves fruit snacks. So I got the Yum Earth, their little gummies. So it says cherry, peach, and strawberry gummy bunnies. They look really adorable. And he pointed this out to me the other day when we were at the store. He saw it and he was begging for it. I'm like, have to wait to see if the Easter Bunny brings it for you. So got him one of those got him a little cheese ball carrot <laughs> that was so cute he loves cheese balls though too and then i got him a bigger this one has i think three different colors as it keeps played on a little cutout so i feel like he'll have fun with that he's kind of into you know all the sensory things right now got him a blue marshmallow bunny and i got him these blue shark goggles from kohl's the only thing that's kind of a bummer, they don't really match his swimsuits, but that's okay. I'm honestly, I'm not even sure he'll really wear them in the pool, but I just got them for him because I figured, you know, why not? The little Reese's carrot. Presley got one of those too. But okay, this is the other spot where I was like, oh my gosh, these are the perfect, well, it's the perfect swimsuit for him, basically. There was a Mickey Mouse, this was at Walmart, this Mickey Mouse swimsuit that has Mickey and the sunset. I was like, this just looks like a little tropical Mickey, like Hawaii Mickey swimsuit. I was like, this is so perfect for him because he just loves Mickey. And every morning when he wakes up, this is so funny. When we were in Hawaii, because we were there for almost the first two years of his life, I would always say, good morning, Hawaii. And we would look out the window and I'd be like, good morning, palm trees. Good morning, you know, everything in the yard. And he recently, as he's talking more and more, when he wakes up, he just started saying to me, good morning, Hawaii. Like he remembered it. So I don't know, it just reminded me of that because it's Mickey and the Suns. And like when I just looked at this, I was like, it's just good morning, Hawaii, Mickey Mouse style. I just all hate it. It's adorable. So I had to get that for him. And I got him another one because I just feel like Walmart had the cutest clothes for boys his age. I was actually really disappointed that their older boys section didn't quite look like this because I would have loved to gotten something kind of coordinating for him and Landon, but this is the top. It says good vibes all day. And these little swim trunks, I just, I love those muted colors. I feel like they also just look really good on Hayden. Like he's my very green, like those are the colors that look good on him because he has the dark brown eyes and the dark hair. So like I like all these colors on him. We'll put that one behind this. And then same thing, I thought this little set for summer is so cute. It says, good things to come. And it has like the wave and the palm trees and the bronco. And these were then the little matching shorts that have, I think it's a lizard. Yeah, it's a little like lizard on 
the skateboard, which I know when we go back to Hawaii, he's gonna be so excited to see all those lizards. Prezi will also probably be very excited to see all the lizards again too, but. Okay, we'll tuck that in there. And then the last thing I got for him was a McDonald's gift card because he is my kiddo that is always had to be on the go with me. And I know it's not the greatest, but a lot of times when we are just on the go, it's so easy. <laughs> he just, he knows McDonald's. Every time he passes it, he'll be like, McDonald's. And most of the time, I'm really not lying, most of the time I'm like, it's unavailable. Or it's not open today. And I mean, at some point he's gonna be like, yeah, right, mom, there's a line of cars. But usually that's my excuse, but I do like to treat him sometimes when he's been extra good, especially if we've had like a lot of errands to run and he's been in a lot of stores and he's just been on his best behavior. I like to reward him with a little bit of Mickey D's because I know he loves it. So I know he'll be excited when he sees that. So this is Mr. Hayden's 2024 Easter basket. I just realized I got a few more things <laughs> that I wanted to put in each of their Easter baskets. So these are Peeps lollipop rings. It came in a pack of four. I figured I would just put one in each of their baskets. And then these, okay. These are what I want in my Easter basket. They're the Ghirardelli sea salt caramel milk chocolate. They're so good. I might already had one. Probably gonna have another one. It goes really nicely with the pop egg. Um, but I just wanted to put a couple in there because we get these at other times of the year when they're not shaped like bunnies, but these are really cute actually because they are shaped like bunnies and my kids love them. They're so good. So definitely the whole family loves these. So <laughs> they're each going to get, I think, three <laughs> when I get the rest. But there you go. Thank you so much for watching this. Easter basket haul and shop with me and kind of a mini day in the life. But if you have any other video requests for this spring, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'll link all the stuff, by the way, that I got to down in the description box for you in case there's anything you want for your kiddo's Easter baskets. But I'm gonna go eat my chocolate. Mm, edit this video and I'll see you later. Bye, love.